Hey guys, so welcome back to yet another video. So I have an iPod Touch 4G here and I want to show you guys how to use Geekrate in 2020 because as you know, Geekrate website is no longer there and the old tutorials on YouTube are not that, you know, informative. You can see here, normal 8 gigabyte iPod Touch 4 Gen. So I figured I want to do a, you know, a detailed one kind of in 2020 like where do you get the IPSW and what you need etc etc so for this video I'm a demo with the iPod Touch 4G you can of course you can do it with other A4 devices such as the first gen iPad iPhone 4 the 3.1 and the 3.2 version so I actually just tried out and so here is an iPhone 4 I just geek create this thing tried out to make sure that everything is still working edit this so this is a 6.3 iPhone 3,2, iPhone 4, this is the 8 gigabyte, the Gen 2 model when the 4S came out, this is the 8 gigabyte. So I'm gonna do it the same thing here, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with this iPod Touch 4 generation. Okay, without any further ado, let's go to the video. Okay guys, so this is the link that you guys can download your Geekrate IPSW, is by ELU Jailbreak. I will put the link in the description so you guys can download your desired IPSW, so again, just scroll down, find the your device, and then your desired IPSW that you want to downgrade. And then next thing, we need the Apple IPSW because Geekrate still need the, you know, the official Apple IPSW to boot with Retsno. So go to IPSW.me, pick your device, and pick your selected IPSW. Okay, so as you can see, I'm trying to downgrade your 4.3.3 on the Apple Touch 4 generation. Just search it on the IPSW.me and find 4.3.3 IPSW. Okay, next thing is um, you gotta go to the requirements and download iTunes 11, 11.0, not 11. Point nothing, just 11.0. Download it for Windows and Mac OS 10. I recommend you guys doing this on Windows because especially you need iTunes 11 and downgrading iTunes. It's kind of hard on Mac, especially with Channelina that they remove iTunes. Now it's just music right there. It's a little hard to so just use Windows. I prefer Windows 7 for this kind of downgrades, you know. So again, just use iTunes 11.0, Windows, and iRap for Windows. Next, you gotta download Redstone in order to boot your Geekrate downgrade device. So go to the iPhoneX.com website, which I do again put the link in the description and download for Windows. Again, I recommend you guys doing this on Windows if you guys can find a workaround with iTunes thingy on the Mac. There you go, but I just prefer doing this on Windows. Okay, so we're gonna plug in our device into our Windows computer and then open up iRap. If you want to open iRap, remember just to turn off your Windows Defender or Antivirus because it will delete it, man. It will delete the program, okay? Now next is you're gonna pick your devices and put it in Pond DFU by just using power for 10 seconds and holding the home button for 10 seconds and they will load the everything and we'll put the phone or iPod in the FE mode automatically. Next, make sure you install your iTunes 11, you know, and then once you install it, open it up and it will say it's iTunes protected on iPod or recovery mode. It is where it is. Now we're gonna click on shift restore on it and we're gonna find our geek grade IPSW, right? The geek grade IPSW, not the restore the Apple official one. We need that later, but we don't need it now. Okay, so remember pick the geek grade IPSW and then just wait for it to restore. Okay, so I do got an error 20 now. Don't worry, all you have to do here just um, restart the iPod, redo the everything again. So put the iPod in the FE mode using iWrap and do it again using iTunes. As you can see, mine's working again. Okay, now we successfully restored the uh, iPod. Now just have to, all I have to do is just click OK. Now, as you know, with the Geekrate downgrade, the device will jump back to um, recovery mode. So all you have to do is close iTunes. Okay, we're gonna put our device in the uh, view mode. Just again, power and home for 10 seconds and keep holding the home button for 10 seconds. The next step is we're gonna open up our long lost pal. Let's know, you know, we haven't seen this guy in a while. Huh? 
Now and then when I go to extra, so I go to select IPSW and then this time when I select the restore IPSW, not the custom geek rate one, the official restore IPSW by Apple, hit open and hit OK. Now if you guys want to just boot the iPod, you guys can hit the up there, just boot, but I do want to jailbreak the iPod, so I just click jailbreak right there because I do have a higher chance of it booting for some reason if I jailbreak it than if I just press just boot. But you know results may vary it may be worth for you if you just click just boot Okay, now the device will boot back to recovery mode, do not worry. So just keep it plugged in and go to DFE mode again. Open up Red Snow again, hit Extra, select your IPSW, the restore one, and now hit Just Boot. Okay guys, now we're finally done with the iPod Touch from iOS 6.1.6 to 4.3.3. Now, I don't need iTunes 11 and Windows 7 anymore. I can just use my normal computer. Okay, it's right there, iTunes, and it will soon be activated like normal. Dead. There we go. Bam, set up as a new iPod on the computer here. And there we go, close this baby up. Okay, now here we are, iOS 4.3.3. There you go. It's very bright, huh? Go to settings here, general, about, 4.3.3, okay, it's still bright. All right, there we go, 4.3.3. By the way, the white iPod Touch actually ship when it's on iOS 5, and it's very interesting that it's also able to run iOS 4, huh? So, there you go, guys. That's how you use Geekgrade, in 2020, it's a little bit more complicated and uh, I think you have to jailbreak now because I tried it without the jailbreaking and it does not work for me. I don't know, maybe for you guys will work, but for me, I have to jailbreak the phone in order to get it to work. So there's that also, yeah, this thing too. You can see right here, they're a good city, yeah? So I have to jailbreak these two in order to get it to boot and up to in order to get it to boot. There we go, it's working fine, amazing. It's still tethered, as of course you guys know Geekgrade, it's still a tethered downgrade, so every time your phone or your iPod died, you have to go to the computer again and use Red Snow, select your IPSW, just like when we tried to boot it up the last time, select IPSW, select your 4.3.3 in case of mine, and click just boot, and go to DFU, and it will be boot normally, your data will be there, fine, just like Geekgrade back in the days. Okay guys, so hopefully you guys can, you know, do your geek rate downgrade again in 2020 and i will catch you guys in the next video peace